What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new horror action figure setup, and it is the biggest one ever, and it is taking place right here in my kitchen. Alright guys, so we're back here today in my damn kitchen for the epic Halloween slash horror setup, man. We're going to take you guys through it. I don't want to showcase too much of it, so I'm going to show, you know, I'm going to stay on this side of the kitchen for now, but we're going to take you guys through it, of course. Back with an epic setup, let's go ahead and get into it, starting out with the fridge. Now we start on top of the fridge, now we are going to end the thing with Kenny Omega bailing off of this fridge onto Jason Voorhees through the table, but we have tons of iconic horror characters throughout the kitchen, and we're going to start off here on the fridge, man. We have Kenny Omega, we have the Crooked Man over there. Honestly, I don't even know what he's doing, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe he'll do some later. We'll find out. But you got Kenny Omega on top, and he's bailing off onto Jason. This is a part three Jason spread out on the table. They got to have some sort of defense in the setup, so we do have that right there. If we come just to the left, man, you will see we do have Freddy Krueger losing his mind because he is burning Cameron Grimes alive inside the toaster. So Cameron Grimes getting burned alive. You know, he's about to push down the button. I thought this was pretty good right here. This is actually Brad that set this one up. So you got Freddy Krueger about to push the button down already halfway down. He's halfway to hell already. Who's in my house? If we come forward just a little bit, guys, you will see part two, Jason. Now, Brad added this at the last moment. I was unaware of this, so this is actually off script. But we do have part two, Jason, right here with the bag on Dustin Rhodes' head, or formerly known as Gold Dust. So he's getting choked out right there. Got some nice realism with the bag. You know, he had a bag on his head, so he said, you know what, Brad, why don't you take a bag and put it on your head, choking him alive right there. If we come forward, you guys will notice Tiffany on the dirt face down, and it's because the fiend has taken the can opener to Chucky's face right here, grinding the meat and the face of him all up right there so you know they're getting a little bit of defense in they're getting a little bit of defense in but who knows will it will it add up at the end are they winning the fight i don't think so brad if you come forward from the fiend guys you will see big daddy right here he does have his glowing red eyes right there got his big tank on the stove right here going after jericho who is using the stovetop as a shield will it pay off brad i do not know but big daddy is trying to get in there he's got his drill going honestly this figure is very nice but it's very hard to articulate and we couldn't even get him into a pose putting the drill down in there, but did the best there, and Chris Jericho is trying to stay safe. Will it work out? We'll have to see. We come forward over here. Now, I know this is a skillet and not a pot of water, but don't judge me. We have Jason Voorhees, part seven right here, drowning Christian, or, or trying to drown Christian. Christian doing his best here to keep himself above water, and I don't know how well it's going to work out for him, but he is alive for now. He, he's struggling, but he, he's making it. He's definitely making it. Part seven, Jason, right there, but if we come above, you will see the ultimate warrior right here, and he's celebrating because he has locked inside Pennywise. Look at Pennywise in here. Look at him. Can barely see his face. He's already getting burnt up. I'm obviously not going to burn the figure for real. So he's getting pretty pumped up right there. As we go lower right here, you will see the Diet Dukan is crushing the body of Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins is in pain and agony as the remake Jason from 2009 is pushing the can over him right there, sort of like a steamroller or whatever the hell it's called. If we come a little bit just to the right, guys, you will see the Unlucky Charms on display, and that's because because Jeff Hardy is about to be force-fed Reese's Puff by Freddy versus Jason's version of Jason Voorhees right there. So he's got the Reese's Puff in hand, about to shove it down the gullet of Jeff Hardy, and he's terrified out of his love and mind. And we do have the knocked over Reese's Puffs everywhere, scattered as Lance Archer is running away. So he's running away there, but you do have Ghostface right here. And, I mean, he can't really go too far because he's about to fall off the countertop. But Ghostface is here, about to slash him up. And, yeah, we have Jason Voorhees here with the Reese's Puff about to uh, stuff the face of Jeff Hardy. So if we go from the corner of the countertop and you come over here, man, now this, is this necessarily horror? I mean, it is horrifying, but I did just get this Imperfect Cell SH Figure Arts DBZ figure in the mail, so I figured, why not put him on display here as we have Imperfect Cell sucking up Sammy Guevara? Thought this was an excellent job right here because you can pop apart the AEW figures and you can shove the torso down into the needle or the, I don't even know, the stinger of Cell as it goes up there. Maybe next time in the setup he'll be semi-perfect or perfect cell who knows but if you guys are affiliated or know anything about dbz or the anime you guys know that the clothes would be left behind by the citizens after cell had sucked them up so that's kind of a detail right there we put in the setup thought that was pretty cool obviously behind there you do have diesel who's yelling i don't know why he's standing there yelling but he's upset obviously because who's who's next you know what i'm saying but you do have cell right there that's probably one of my favorite parts of the setup i thought that was pretty good we come forward just a little bit this is another action sequence in the setup you have roman reigns the big 
Dog always on the offense in these setups. He tries to do his best to avoid getting stabbed to death. So we do have Jason Voorhees from part four as he is getting speared off, and he's probably going to go through this table later in the setup. So stay tuned. He will be getting speared off the platform through the table. We'll make sure that takes place here today. But Roman Reigns, the big dog, the tribal chief, you know, he's avoiding stabbing once again, and he's fighting back with Jason Voorhees. Coming forward just a little bit, you guys will notice that we have part seven again. He's got this, like, it's like a weed eater. This isn't even a weed eater, but it looks like a weed eater. But instead of the string or the thread being through there, it is a buzzsaw. So it's like a tree cutting sort of instrument. I don't know what the hell's going on, but you got part seven going after Cody Rhodes as he's using that steel ladder as a shield, at least for the time being. Don't know how to work out for him as he continues, but he is going after him there. We also have Big E right here screaming in agony and terrified. And then you'll notice somebody cut in half right here. And that is because this pot has cut this person in half and it is the massive Jason right here. So we have the massive part four NECA Jason figure crushing this person and cutting their torso off of their legs. RIP. Very horrible to see, but they did get they, they got it. You know what I'm saying? They got they got torn up. But I thought that was a pretty cool epic spot there. Right here we do have Doink the Clown running away. And I just like that that pose right there. So I wanted to include him. And he's like, you guys know that Doink's insane. So he is he is laughing a little bit there. Who knows? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Who knows at this juncture? Also, this part four setup right here, this specific one is a tribute to Ted White, RIP to the legend. If we come right here, guys, you will see that Michael Myers has been impaled by this spear, by the beast in Carnet. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns are the only ones that usually have any sort of defense in these setups, and there's no different here today as Brock Lesnar is getting him back, and that is all the way through right there. You're not gonna, you're not fooling me, Brad. It is all the way through. You think we're half-assing it? No, that is through the sternum and stomach of this Michael Myers, so Brock Lesnar was getting it done right there. Coming forward a little bit, again, Hulk Hogan getting massacred by Jason Voorhees. Kind of become a theme of the setups as that has happened multiple times here, but Jason Voorhees' little statue getting the best of Hulk Hogan here as it went through the agony of the gutness as it is punctured through the torso of the elite Hulk Hogan right here and we, it is a bloody mess and he is bloody at the mouth as well. If we come up here, we have another action sequence. Samoan Joseph, look at his face. Very excited to push Leatherface off the top. The bottle sanitizer here in the setup and we also have Pinhead who has his chains wrapped around the neck of Santana. Actually, it's Ortiz. That's on me. That's Ortiz. Ortiz getting choked up by the chain and his boy Santana is down and here upset about it but he can do nothing about it because pinhead hellraiser has the chain wrapped around ortiz neck if we come forward a little bit another action sequence we're going to roll through all these action sequences at the end of course but we do have jason Voorhees about to push rick flair into the tub of water that resides below and uh, his hands are handcuffed behind his back as you can see there handcuffs behind the back not too enthralled with himself about to go spilling down into the tub of water and i don't think he'll be able to get out now if you're watching Watching this, you need to go watch our part two of the setup that should be coming out shortly after this. If it's not posted already, it will be posted later on, maybe a week from now. So stay tuned for that as it will be a result of some of the things that are taking place in this setup. But we do have Pennywise right here with Braun Strowman in the garbage disposal, as you guys know. Don't think I'm going to be turning it on. I don't know. Maybe we'll get crazy one day. I just don't want to break the garbage disposal. But Pennywise has put Braun Strowman into the garbage disposal. Very unfortunate things for Braun Strowman, but maybe he'll get out. Who knows? We'll have to see. If we come up from there, you will see we do have Frankenstein. I do believe this is his second feature in a setup. It may be his first time ever, and he is using his shackles to choke out Macho Man. So Macho Man getting choked out there, tongue out, getting choked out, and Frankenstein, is, it doesn't even look like he knows what's happening, but uh, he's, get, he, he's choking out Macho Man. You hate to see it. Tongue out right there. Frankenstein with a choke out. Now, this is sort of a wrestling reference. If you get right here with Michael Myers, he has the thumbs down onto Batista, who got put through the table by Michael Myers. So if anybody knows anything about that ultimate Batista, stuff you guys will get a kick out of the thumbs down from michael myers here in the setup so michael myers plants batista through the table and it's unfortunate for him he gave him the thumbs down and it, it didn't turn out too well for tista from there man we will travel a little bit you have roy from part five jason or friday the 13th he's got these big old bolt cutters or scissors as he's got kurt angle pinned down to the mat and he is freaking the hell out as he should and he does have the nun on top of him holding him in position very unfortunate for kurt angle i know that's a terrifying thing to go with but the nun is holding down Kurt Angle and the shears are about to come down on the neck man so Roy and the nun working together kind of an unlikely duo don't think anybody would have seen that coming we also have the alien on top of the turtle tank I may just leave that there it kind of looks cool kind of fits into the whole theme 
I may just throw him in there with the turtle. There's Squirt. Shout out to Squirt. And then before our action sequences, actually, we have a couple more things here. We have a massive Part 7 NECA statue. And it is Part 7 Jason pinning Wardlow to the wall. And then Matt Hardy's attacking him right here. And he's like, what the hell's going on? That's why he's looking over the right shoulder. Matt Hardy coming to the rescue of Wardlow. And Wardlow is getting held up against the wall. I guess Matt Hardy doesn't care about his brother getting Reese's Puff shoved down his throat over there. So he is over here on Part 7 Jason. But Wardlow's yelling in agony as well. But Matt Hardy's trying to save him. Now, if we come forward a little, you will see that Trash Corbin has returned to the setup where he belongs in the trash. Now, if you guys remember this from last year, I forgot him in the trash and we threw him away on accident. So I'm immediately going to grab him before we forget about him and he's gone forever like last time. But now that we've gone through the setup, we do have to get into these action sequences. So first up, Ric Flair going into the water. All right. As we come through, we do have Jason getting speared by Roman. Now, I'm going to set this up because it's got to get some good commentary. Oh, boy, he's better look out. Roman Reigns coming in from the top countertop to the bottom of the countertop, up the top of the countertop. <laughs> Spear through the table. What a shot. The top of the top of the countertop. <laughs> You got any meal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in. You should keep that in. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Uh, anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up the massive or biggest horror action figure setup in the kitchen ever or, or, or kitchen edition here in the setup. But I hope everybody has a happy Halloween as we get out of here. I enjoyed the setup. We will be back with another kitchen setup horror action figure edition, of course. But stay tuned for that, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your favorite part of the setup down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. And uh, don't cross the line. Cross the line.